And welcome back to the channel folks. Today we take a look at the old federal courthouse and post office in Superior, Wisconsin, supposedly built in 1908. She was designed by famed architectural firm Barber & Barber. The U.S. Circuit Court for the Western District of Wisconsin met here from 1908 until 1911. And quoting the book titled Zenith, A Postcard Perspective of Historic Duluth by Tony Dierkins, the federal building has been serving Superior, Wisconsin since 1908, as most federal buildings were at the time, as a courthouse, customs office, internal revenue office, home of the U.S. Marshals, and post office. Successful lobbying nearly doubled the building's construction budget, and the extra money was spent on extravagances such as marble, mahogany, solid bronze, and opulent furniture. And nothing says small town post office during the early 1900s like a Greco-Roman style palace made of granite and marble. Am I right? And this one, they at least give three years build time. Supposedly she was built from 1905 to 1908. Yet yeah, take a look at this supposed construction photo. And here she looks fully built in 1906 and this does not appear to be construction three years to build what took them so long in the same month that this was ending daniel burnham across the bay was building up supposedly the St. Louis County Courthouse, which is twice the size of this in the same style and same materials. And that was done in just 14 months. Well, let's take a peek inside. Do 
Yep. First thing that comes to mind? Post office. I mean, just look at these materials. Three varieties of marble, no big deal. I see some old world symbolism. I just can't stop thinking about mail. Is anyone else noticing all the arches and columns? Is it me or am I sensing a theme? Corinthian columns, wreaths, and marble? You don't say. So they tell us the Barber Barber Brother architectural firm was Winnipeg's most prolific architectural firms from 1876 to 1887. And they are accredited with building over 100 buildings in under a decade. And the story goes that their architectural style fell out of popularity in Winnipeg in 1887. And therefore they moved to Superior, Wisconsin and set up shop. And the two post buildings they are probably most known for is the Winnipeg City Hall, one of my personal favorites, and in Duluth, Minnesota, Park Terrace Townhomes. And what do you think, folks? Does any of this add up? Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks again.